My name is David, and this is my brother Jonas, and together we are the Danish Tougher of Brothers. We've been living in Spain for a great number of years. I moved to Spain with my parents when I was a young teenager, and Jonas was a young five-year-old boy. We always had a dream together one day uh, to make wines together. Yeah, and here in 2019, we took this small little boy dream to the next level. So basically, we had to increase production. We, need, we incorporated new wine regions in many areas of Spain. So we incorporated Ribera del Duero, Somontano, uh, Ribera del Morazo up in Galicia, and now recently Ribera del Júcar. And we're playing around and also making good wine at the same time, of course. Uh, but we are trying to explore different great gems that we find that Spain has because wine for us is everything. It's our hobby, it's our work, it's our family because it's a family business and we just continue to explore Spain because we find that Spain has some of the best price quality that you can find around and so many fabulous grapes to explore that have not been exploited yet and we just can't stop exploring what Spain has to offer. Currently we are producing more than 20 different wines from different appellations, as you said, Jonas, and we are currently exporting to more than 15 different countries. We are very passionate winemakers, and we want to keep on growing. We love experimenting with different grape varieties, incorporating new regions, new vinification methods, because the wine industry is so dynamic, it's changing, it's very evolving constantly. So with the growth we've had over the last few years, we find it increasingly challenging to keep up with a proper quality control with all the different lots that we have. Uh, we've been relying on external laboratories to a large extent, which is of course very time consuming because by the time the samples arrive there until we get the results, it does take so quite some time. And on the other hand, also it's a cost. So with this new equipment, we actually are able to work more precise to take some key decision and uh, really, really dedicate more time to be creative, which we really love about the winemaking. Yeah, and it's really, really quick because even this morning, for example, we did more than 40 different wines or, or fermenting wines and, and grape juices in the morning. So it's like so quick and almost instant. It just takes a couple of minutes and we get a long number of parameters for these. For example, we get the pH, the sugar levels, the potential alcohol, uh, the volatile acidity, we might be outside of the moment where we were really, really creative while making the blending. So it's, it's really great to have these. It's incredibly user-friendly. It's very, very easy to use. Oh, you remember that time when you were driving up around northern Spain and you called the office and you had to have our colleague to, to jump into the lab and <laughs> explain in five minutes over the phone how to use it and he hadn't used it before? Which, how simple is that if you can explain it with a phone in less than five minutes to somebody normally working at a computer and not in a lab? So this piece of equipment is seriously an advantage while we're doing the blending trials because basically it ensures that we can have more consistency between the different blends. We can have a better quality control. So basically we can have the previous bottle of the wine and have the new different components for the new bottling. And we can compare the chemical parameters of the new blend up against the previous wine we bustled and there we can compare and contrast ensuring higher consistency between the different bottlings. Well, we've been producing wines for more than 20 years and we could easily continue producing wines as always for the next 20 years if we wanted to but I think from our customer point of view uh, for our own interest we uh, want to be able to have this in-house control uh, rather than only, always being dependent on external factors, external laboratories. To... And not to talk about, or not to mention uh, of our environmental perspective, sending our samples to external labs the whole time. Their use of the chemicals goes into the sewage is not that well, as well as the postage, keeping the carbon footprint down. So this machine here virtually does not use any chemicals at all. So that's also, I think, for the long term, for the environment, I think it's, it's a good choice. As we all know, the wine industry is constantly evolving. As winemakers, we have endless number of choices. But we believe that this is the right decision for us. Absolutely. Cheers. Bro. <laughs>